guys over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stephen Odelko. Yeah. <laughs> he wants five percent commission of my well, channel. I negotiated that deal yeah. initially. You did? Yeah. Okay, and this is his manager. <laughs> here's Miguel. I'm free. I'm, I'm and here's free. Joseph. Oh, the gang's all here. And this is a new person. He found his sunglasses. Your name's Gus, right? No, no, I don't drink. Are you? No, Oscar. Oscar, sorry. <laughs> yeah, fish and chips, man. What did you get? I got crab. Crab? Oh, oh, crab. What did you get? Fish and chips. I got I got uh, tuna and chips, I think. Tuna and chips. Or halibut, one of the two. So excited. Okay, lunch has arrived. I got tuna. Uh, I'm grabbing ketchup. Anyone else? I got else? calamari. Oh, yeah, ketchup, please. I'm okay, thank you. Fresh okay. crab. Shrimpies. What did you get? Prawns? Hot, hot and shrimp. Uh, and shrimp. We just finished lunch here at the uh, Crab Pot. We're heading up to our spot to spend the evening. <laughs> Well, good morning. I'm back on the Oregon coast and I brought my neighborhood with me. <laughs> Do you see that? That is beautifulness to my eyes. And then this is a lady that's one of mine and Stephen Aldalco's subscribers. This is Travis. I met him last year. And then there's my friend John. I met him a few weeks ago. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> I gotta make my bed too. Dishes are done. Gorgeous day. I want to see the mama whale and her baby. Uh, yesterday she popped up. Oh, yeah. Well, good later morning. It's now 1030. There are eight of us traveling back south on the 101 because we are going to take a drive through Otter Crest Loop. It's so fun 
to be with my element community and I love sharing this with you. Okay, we are just assembling the troops here because we're gonna be doing a drone shot. So we've gotta get things figured out and I'll do a ground shot. are way in their vehicles. So the first one is 4,500. The second one is 4,750. Oh my God, that's Kevin's car. Next one is Oscar. Oscar is 4,400. Next one is me. Forty six hundred. Well, good morning from Ocean Shores campsite. Let's flip you around. It's uh, the day after. We have Sue Ann here and Dot's car. What's his name again? Ronnie. Ronnie. Ron. He yeah. is like stick in the pants. Love him. Yeah. And then everyone's over here taking out my garbage. Oh, everyone's gathering over here. Let's just put this. <laughs> Joseph. Element 44. Hi, how are you? Oh, nice. See, see, I'm telling you what to, bro. Okay, who do we have here? What's up? Overland Antidote. Yeah, and so what is your business? Uh, we outfit cars to go off grid like, so you pick and part all the stuff from around the web yeah. and put it in all one place so yeah. that's us honda elementors yes can yes. purchase it from you yeah We have circled the wagons, or the Honda Elements in this case, and we're heading out. We're gonna drive on the beach in Washington. So it is the Saturday morning of the Pacific Northwest Honda Elements meetup up here in Washington. We just finished up with the night at Ocean Shores. I didn't do a whole lot of filming because I was visiting and making new friends. Now getting ready to meet up at a convention center and then we're going to get ready to drive on a beach out here and then have a picnic on the beach. It's been so awesome meeting all these other fellow Honda Elementors. This community is just so wholesome and so nice and so fun and so collaborative. I just feel like, I feel like it's Christmas morning every morning, waking up and talking to people about their elements and what they like. I will be sure to do some tours on this visit with all of these folks to show you just what you could do if you owned a Honda Element or any other camper or car camper. I'm not even 
adventure to save too many elements. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Stephen, uh, sir, I agree with you. Bro. Bro. Uh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells like donuts. That's just 26 so far. Can you believe all of these Honda elements? This is just day one of the Pacific Northwest Honda Elements West Coast Meetup up in Washington here. Traders. <laughs> Gorgeousness.
And that, my darlings, is what a Honda Element meetup on the Washington coast looks like. You got a beautiful group of friends here and all of their sweet rigs here. So now we are having a tailgate picnic. Subway, thank you. Mmm, that's good. Smile big for the camera. <laughs> Tell me the year of your Honda Element. 2006. And when did you buy it? Maybe two years ago. And why did you buy it? Because I broke my other one. You had one before this one? Yeah, that's the one that I hit the deer. Mm -hmm. And so that I had the e-camper put on that. And I mean, it was expensive. What year was that one? 2006, just did, like this. And so did you time. buy it in 2006? Or? No, I bought that one maybe um, like, 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. So you had the 2006 10 years ago? Yes. And then you wrecked it. And then how many years did you go between not having the Honda Element? Oh, uh, it wasn't very long. So once I wrecked it, I didn't have a car, so I ended up buying a 2011. Mm -hmm. And that was at, right at the beginning of COVID. And I had COVID boredom because we couldn't do anything, so mm -hmm. I did a build out in it, but I couldn't move the e camper over to it. And that was my goal. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I kept searching for another element. I wanted the exact element that I originally had, but that one was blue like that. And it was beautiful, it was perfect. This one had dents and scratches, but honestly, like sitting there thinking about life without the element, right? Because it really does give you it this opportunity to experience life completely yeah. different. Yeah. You know, um, sleeping in it, just, or whatever, Ever it, whatever it. it is. So. Um, I needed it back, so I didn't mind a few dents and scratches, and yeah, I'm back on four wheels, so <laughs> happy. And I'm here with you guys now, right? And it's lifted, yes. and you're gifted. Yes. <laughs> I'm not so sure about gifted, but I got an element, so yes, that's my gift, yeah. Yeah, oh for my sure. God. Thank you so much for yes. sharing with me of about course. your it story and road tripping, and we're only on day, what is this, day three together? Um, I think maybe so. for us, yeah. But yeah, I've been on it for four or five days with, with every the other, with the other with group, the other yeah. Group. And yeah. then we're heading up the Olympic Peninsula, and yes. we'll carry on with from even there. more elements. Oh my people. god, yes. fifteen! Yes, fifteen elements and eighteen people. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mine doesn't. It goes to one ninety in Japan in some years, but some years goes. To can you imagine doing 120 in an L.A. in the EX? <laughs> how many people, how many people you have pushing you? What, what's going it's, on here? It's time to change the light bulb. Change the light bulb. I love it. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it. And Bonamy and Pepsi like clears it. Once in a year. Well, like once a year. Do you? Oh, uh, yeah. Levels of lottery with nine <laughs> <laughs> so levels of lottery. Okay. Levels, levels of lottery with ninth element. On social media, and the last thing I want to be is noticed. <laughs> That's funny. It's true. It's, it's like it's yeah, yeah, right. And it's like 
So, like, people were coming up to me in the on the coast outside of, like, Depot Bay, and they're like, I know you, and I'm like, you do? And everyone around me, because they know me from YouTube, are like, you're on fucking YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So, what's your lottery? So, I have levels of lottery. And mostly, the first thing is pay off any debts. Second is put some money in the bank. Third is pay everything for my kids and my family that they might owe or you know put something into an account for them or a trust yeah and then kind of take care of my friends and then you know start looking take at care of all the friends. politics i'm a and friend where do of i want to put my money you know to charities or to you know something that can make make a difference yeah i would like to have <laughs> something i could do that i could not fail is have a cabin on the north umqua right over overlooking my favorite sw uh, fishing hole there you, there you go. And Libby, what's yours? What would you do if you could not fail? I would want to. You can't fail. You can't fail. Okay. No You'd want a Honda Element. <laughs> you see one Element. Yes, I want a Honda Element behind my car. <laughs> buy a big piece of land with. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you own it. Yes, own it, girl. Extrapolate. <laughs> because I want a big piece of land. What about you, Ronnie? Ronnie, it's yeah. you. Almost every answer is tied to a specific action to where you can't fail so I'm gonna go ahead and do this like my shit would be more focused on like living right like and that's holistic right like the mental spiritual and, and emotional aspects mm -hmm. getting those things right like before I help anybody else I need to be able to help myself it's right. kind of like when you board a plane and the stewardess tells you like hey before you help anybody else help put the fucking first. gas mask on yourself like mm -hmm. that's that's oxygen the, mask. That's, uh, yeah, the oxygen mask. Yo, yeah. same. Well, oxygen is a gas. Same, same situation. Like, mm -hmm. and and a lot of that goes a long way. It's like that pebble effect, right? Like, mm -hmm. you drop that pebble, and you're, you're affecting generations to come. So, mm -hmm. fuck all the money in the world. Like, my my whole thing is the legacy play. Yeah, I, I've I've thought about this mm -hmm. like from a lot of different angles, and this is like the shit that eats at me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. If I knew I couldn't fail. Ah. Uh, I don't know, because it's like, do you want to serve the self or do you want to serve everybody? This is your question. You get to answer it however you want. And it, and be, it be, 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 be authentic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted to do work and then have land. So. <laughs> she did. There you go. There you go. Be selfish. <laughs> be uh, real. Yeah. I, I would just love to live out of my element full time and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about like making the money to have to be able to stay at, I mean I'm, I I do like bougie element camping <laughs> by the means of like staying in state parks wherever I want mm -hmm. uh, instead of doing the BLM thing so yeah, yeah I and state parks aren't always bougie yeah that's true <laughs> they can be bougie but they can be BLM <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you're sitting across from a woman that's doing that what you're doing and I know. you can do it you should team up yeah. Yeah, I, you don't need much money. You just have to leap, and the net will appear. Yeah, I just feel like uh, sometimes I feel like in my life, uh, like there's always something to take care of, and then after yeah. I've been taking care of that thing, then I can do whatever I want. Yeah, and it seems like there's always a new thing to take care of. I'm I'm ready to hit the road. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, like, I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> like I saw you riding your e-bike today. You offered for yeah, me to you drive it. it. You were kind of, you've, been, you've been hanging in the background of the Honda <laughs> Elementors. Like, tell us a little more about you. I'm kind of new to the you are. scene. I've had my Element in a while. And but I want to know, what you is your Honda Element? Uh, 07. And how much do you love it? Uh, it's, it's a great car. It's a great car? How long yeah. have you had it? Thank you. It's a love-hate kind of relationship. Love-hate. I've had it for like seven years. And I had Toyotas before that, and Toyotas are just so solid. Burly. <laughs> Nothing goes out on them. No, that's the next on one the, I want. Like all this little stuff what? fixed over the years. On yours? The power windows and yeah. all this little stuff. Yeah, I work at Boeing. Boeing? Yeah. So you're working on planes? Yeah. From planes to Honda Elements. Easy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I learned a lot. Now. We trust you. I can apply that <laughs> towards. Uh, How did you find out about, uh, about this group? Uh oh, I I post on Facebook like crazy a lot. With I'm your Honda Element? Yeah, because I do little little projects on it. I like to post and get feedback yeah. and comment on other people's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be trusted, so I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> 
Well, good morning. Day has arrived. Not Christmas, but our Honda Element meetup. Let me just flip you around here. Okay. <sighs> I just walked up this hill to take a picture of this. This is everybody so far. So there are a lot of folks here already. Sorry about the wind. But I'm gonna take you through these rows. I have been traveling for four days now. Started with eight Honda Elements on the Oregon coast. I am now currently in Tacoma at the meetup. And we will be traveling 15 Honda Elements up to the Port Angeles area on the Olympic Peninsula. So I'll be showing that hopefully in this video or the next one. So thanks for being here. So I'm gonna walk you down the row here. This is the first row of Honda <laughs> Elements. I'm gonna flip you around. Everyone's just getting parked up. So I think yeah. this is the row of still OG and not modified. Um, look at all these beauties. People have taken really good care of their Honda Elements and I love seeing it. So this is row one for today so far. We're trying to fit, I think 150 if we can. So this is the first one. And then we'll take you down the second one. Isn't that insane? It's so insane, I love it, it's like Christmas. Okay, now this is gonna be row two. Row two, good to see you guys, thanks for being here. Row two, look at it all the way down. Look at they have they've taken such good care of these. Oh my goodness. Row two. Look at all the colors. Look at all the years. Hello. Row two. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back down row three in a minute. Ooh, you are gonna love these. This is Julie's setup. She sleeps in a hammock. She's a minimalist. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, yeah, and so you can get bumper storage. You can find it on Element Driven. Okay, this is row three. Oh, can you believe all these Honda elements? Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Now we're getting into modifications. So these are Rob Deasy racks, you know, for Max Tracks cans. Then we have the roof rack. And then, I think this is an extender bar for accessories. Very nice ladder to get up and down onto your roof. Again, another tailgate storage awning. Love it. Hey, there's trouble. This is my buddy, Austin. So if you all want a swivel seat, this is where you buy the swivel seats from, like you see in ninth. And I'm just gonna walk right in here and shove yeah. my camera. Oh, oh yeah. Austin, good so good to see you. I love, I heard that you expanded. I did, a little bit. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. deserve you. it. For everyone, this oh, is hey. Austin, Heroes Hot Rods, yeah. <laughs> and he's got all kinds of swag going on here. Let's just show you the swivels in his so that's them swivel. You can get installations for the swivel seats done um, at Austin's shop. Then Jeff from Element Driven knows how to install them. Um, I don't know if Nick from uh, Honda Element in Portland will install them. Miguel in California will install them. And I'll leave links in the descriptions below all the videos for it. Okay, and here's Phoenix. She's got this hammock design. This person's trying out the hammock. And you can uh, scoot yourself up a little bit too if you want to. Or yeah. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is row. Gosh, I think we're row six now or seven. 
and thank you to our sponsors. Mm -hmm. Now this Honda Element here is amazing. This is Jason. He's Honda Element Camper on Instagram. And this is for sale. And there he is right there. He has spent a lot of money kidding this out. He has thought of everything. Everything. This is Kevin. This idea for the seats. So he is a cabinet maker and electrician. But look at his cabinets. So in traveling and all of that, I don't like having to eat unhealthy food. I wanted to be able to cook inside. And yeah. I know it's controversial whether or not I should be cooking in here with the open flames. I have a fire extinguisher here. I actually do a lot of cooking in here. And that's where I had designed this because uh, I want to sit here in the comfort of my element and make food if I want to. And this, so yeah, this is a bit, actually a big and size I, table. I love how this converted back and forth because you were sitting right here mm -hmm. the other night. The table was a little more over here and it was like, yeah, like this, like here. I'm going to come in here now. Hang on. I need a cameraman. Okay, want to be the cameraman? Come in here. Do yes, you want to film got, this? Got okay, you got this? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, because we're, go. oh we're moving into the... <laughs> Oh, uh, I got, I got a. What's really nice shoes if, off. if you do open this, it gives you a head room. Right. Right there. Just, but here, but now I'm behind the scenes. Like, you know, what the fuck is going on? You were cooking. You were cooking like you're beginning a burrito. I mean, look at all this space. Oh, look, isn't this cozy? It is. It's it so is. cozy. <laughs> like Kevin's house is. Oh, it's so magical. You oh my God! It's so bright. You have. Yeah, thank you. Don't blind me. You have to come to Kevin's house. Like it's, you, you feel welcome. You feel warm. And what I really appreciate is, I love Japanese aesthetic. We talked about this the first time we met. And when you opened your album, I was like, "Have you lived in Japan?" He was like, "Well, actually, my wife is Japanese, mm -hmm. <laughs> right?" Mm -hmm. You saw Japanese in my build? Yeah, interesting. Extremely. And then wow, with okay. all your accessories and things like that, I did. That was one of the things I had said to you when oh, I first met you. Okay, wow. Well, don't you think it's like kind of like an efficiency suite in Japan? It's, um, I tried to be yes, very efficient. Don't you think yes. it's like that? Yes, yes. Because like, they have like sometimes they just rent like a, like a hallway. Yes, and that's yeah. where you live in. Yeah, and that's actually um, what part of the um, and inspiration. These, you know, these kinds of things too. The, oh yeah, the little dangling lanterns. <laughs> Goodness. Look at this. The, and my favorite thing is. Oh, oh my it's, it's titanium kettle. Just a kettle. Titanium kettle. Yeah. But yeah, I have some pre-measured pre-measured coffee, coffee. Yes. I mean, this. You thought I was bougie, everyone. <laughs> this is the king. He's taking the crown. Uh, I am no longer a queen. I'm a pauper. I have my cups. Oh my goodness. And oh flowers. yes. Look at the Papers. accoutrements. And a little sprayer just to help kind of keep things clean when they get oh. dirty. But yeah, so it's nice to just pull things. Oh yeah, and, and there's the lighting in here. The stove. Oh, the stoves. Yes, and show us the, the bottles with the sleeves on them. Those are very slick. These are the, That's the Asian butane. Asian fuel canister mm -hmm. butane, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And so they make them. See, it looks attractive, right? It does. And I think that Otherwise. that helps it if it gets cold. I think that helps yeah, the jacket. So. I think too. it does too. Like you get more fuel efficiency from it. Because I've been in cold weather and at 5,000 feet, and I wish I had something like that around the bottle. Yeah, these are really inexpensive. They're nice. And that's what you had your griddle on the other morning, wasn't it? Look at that. You had the griddle on these, didn't you? Uh, no, the griddle. Oh, the big griddle. Yeah, the other morning. You yeah, had that's a over there. there. Actually, it wasn't this one. It was oh, is another one? These two. Yes, those two. And they. That's what you were cooking on? Yeah, so. Because I only ha have one of those, but I have two of these. Right, and, and so, so you set them like side that. by side. Such a, you're such a host that you want to cook for the whole entire camp. That was fun. I made everybody pancakes. <laughs> At the beach. Blueberry pancakes. They were wonderful. Yeah. yeah I do like they, them. No, they were so good. You know. Here's the other side. And yeah, I got. I have actually four stoves in there, just depending on because. Yeah, so if you can't afford swivel seats, this is the way to go. 
What number are you, darling? 202. 202. Thanks for being here. Sweet. Welcome. Decal action. We got 203 kids. They didn't even know it. Yep. They just snuck in. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's see it. It's a little Honda Element. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that. It's number five to the show. Number five. Oh, point five. It's it's only half a subscription to the show. <laughs> I vote for this one. It's cute. I like how the spare tires on the roof in case it gets a flat. Oh yeah, come on. Let's let's show ya. Let's show ya. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So hot. I want to let you know that we are ending the silent auction at two, so make sure that you get some uh, bids in. Make sure you see Jess and her ceramic mugs. They're fantastic. I've got mine. Of course, we've got our nonprofit organization that we're supporting, Northwest Wag Rescue. Come and check them out. and love to make sure you get... Look at this, and all of a sudden the toolbox comes out. I so appreciate this, because like, who else gets the designer to install it? Yeah, like, it happens often, if it would happen often. So I'm not special? Uh, you are special. <laughs> yes, you are special. You're always special. I paid him to say that. <laughs> hey, Miguel, you just checking this out so you can yeah. be the Southern California installer of Rob DZ products? Yeah. Yeah. Miguel's been uh, telling me about installs that he's done already. You, have you done any of these? Uh, not this one, but I've done many of his products the, already. The roof rack? I've done the roof rack a couple of times. Only one time the ladder. Uh huh. Um, two installs of the storage, the tailgate storage. What products do you have on your element from him? Do you have any? Uh, I have uh, storage. Yeah. I have uh, a camper roof rack over there. Oh, that's yeah. right. Uh, and I think I have so, and I have this, this tie out. Oh, the tie downs. Did I ever, did I tell you about the, the original, original idea for this big meet with me and Rock? Yes. I heard it belonged to you guys. We, and had, then, a, we had a conversation about yeah. it. And we said, let's, let's grow this. And then yeah. we got everyone involved in it. Many years ago. Yeah. And then, then you, you guys passed it off to Rich because you were too busy or something. Is yeah, that well, what happened? I mean, yeah. We were still working on it and just everyone was talking and stuff. Yeah. But Rich kind of took the head and, and. But you're still a big part of it. Yeah. 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 yeah we all work. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. No, it That's is. Well, but it's not his, it's yours. Yeah. yeah. Pacific Northwest, we're a yeah. big community. So yeah, no. We, uh, we used to just support exactly. each other. But. Three but, or yeah. four years ago, we met at Dick's in uh, what, uh, Shoreline. Yeah. yeah. It was me, him, and this other guy named Locke. Mm -hmm. And we just had this conversation. And then maybe, I don't know, a couple months later, we met down in Kent at that park. Yeah. And that's when we had the conversation. We were measuring up the rack for uh, yep. the e camper, e -camper. Uh -huh. to design that. And then we said, you know, we should have a bigger meet. And he said, well, someone just needs to make it happen. I said, I'll make it happen. And then we started rolling, and then we got everyone else involved. And it was a, it was a group thing to come together to make well, it Well, I'm honored to be a part yeah. of it. Like, it's just, I just love it. And it's everybody's so kind and friendly and collaborative. And, yeah. it you know, you talk to other people they're like no I don't want to go to a car meetup or and I'm like no this is not like what you're thinking because yeah. I've been to other car shows and it was fun and stuff but you could you could sense it's just not this right. and do you notice that there's a lot of ex VWers VW yeah. owners that are yeah. they're like oh this feels like the old days of VWs yeah, yeah. Okay. so uh, uh, I've had four I've had okay. two buses and two Westphalias and it seems like every third person I spoke with today were like oh yeah, yeah I used to roll with the VW groups oh, okay. and then I yeah. now we got into a Honda Element yeah, yeah. Yep. Super no, duper. Yeah, we're Pacific Northwest up here. We have an awesome group. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, this is, uh, this is yeah. everybody together. Yeah. Doing this. Amazing. So, yeah. Here's it on his passenger side of his car, and that there's one going on night. Just pull on, and then once the rear is on, then we'll mark the whole thing. Um, so that's going on. 
She's not in her element. I just decided your element was now mine. I just sat down. You can have a nap if you like, if you're tired. Hey, Miguel. Hey, YouTubers. Isn't this fabulous content? This is amazing. Like, I am so excited to get this on the side of my vehicle for my summer adventures because I'm going to need extra gas because I'm going way out there and I will need it. So this is, this is perfect. This is awesome. It's exactly the jewelry that Ninth needs. I feel like I should be nervous that he's drilling holes in my car, but I'm actually so excited about this and I'm not scared at all. My car is getting tattooed. It is. It is. We got three on it. This is awesome. How many people do we have in the live, Miguel? 18 people. 18? Thank you for being here, everyone. Yeah. Anybody I know? Somebody come and looks real nice. Yeah. Oh, Susan, thank you, Susan. Right? This is legit stuff here. This is Honda Element Jewelry. <laughs> what do you think? So how durable is it? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Rob, thank you so, so much. I look forward to buying more accessories from you. Links are in the description down below. Element Driven sells these on their website. Check it out. Curls for the girls. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Jake's had a full day already. He's sleeping. Good night, Jake. Sleep well, my darling. I love you guys I love you too, Mindy. so much. Seriously. Thank you for everything. Fucking YouTubers. Fucking YouTubers. Yeah.